going to learn how to cut image and change the background of the image or make it our image without a background or PNG image. For that we need first one program. It is free program of course and it is GIMP. Some people say GIMP. Uh, you are going to do your search for GIMP and you will find www.gimp.org and this is how their website looks. If I scroll a little bit down you can check the web page out but for this purpose you need to download and install GIMP. As in previous uh, videos you did learn how to install and uninstall programs and this is one of easy programs to install and you need to select here download and start your download process and when you install GIMP then we can learn other things as follows. When you open GIMP it is going to look like this. You have two toolbars, one on the left and one on the right and you can open file that you want uh, image actually that you want to cut. You can cut JPEG images. We learned about image files and usually JPEGs are image files that we are going to use to cut our background from. So let's find on our desktop I have one image that I want to cut the background and you can see the whole process. It's really easy you're gonna see but you do need someone to show you. Okay let's start. Let's find our desktop. Here's our desktop. As you can see up here this is a uh, location of your files and this is where you are going to look for your files. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down here. Let me find this image that I prepared for this for this video. Okay, this is what we are going to open. Select open. I'm going to give you instructions that you are going to write down in your little book or note somewhere because trust me you will forget this later if you don't use this program often. You will write it down as follows. So we can begin now to cut our image. Look, I'm going to select control and because I don't have a scroll here, I'm working on my laptop, I'm going to select here tools and zoom and if I click on image it's going to zoom this image. I'm not going to zoom it too big. This is enough that I zoomed and I'm going to select this selection tool and click on that and start your cutting of the image anywhere you you want and we are going to follow the line here as you can see it will cut this whole image you just click where you want your cutting tool to to stop and click and you have to click all the way around and I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to select all around this image. Okay now I am almost near the end and let me just show you if you make a mistake you are going to select backspace and as you can see it's uh, deleting the last the last uh, process that I have done. And this is how we end. You are going to click exactly on this little where we started exactly on this little circle. And as you can see this it is now looking like ants are going around. That means that we selected this image and the next step is add a layer mask select here layer select mask and add layer mask and we need to select here white full opacity and select add our next move is select and we are going to select here invert 
after that we are going to select this bucket here and we need to select this affected area and we are going to select here fill hole selection and now when I click outside of the image as you can see it becomes transparent we need to select here let me just move this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing we are going to select here file and we are going to select save as and this is very important that you remember because if you don't select on the both of these options you will not have your pictures your images saved as a PNG file which is what we want we want transparent background or image that we can insert into other images or text or whatever it is that you desire to do with your images you're going to select here save as if you don't have this option straight away you will select browse for f other folders and this is what you have to remember you have to select here PNG format PNG image and you have to select PNG uh, file extension here as well so don't forget to do this here as well you have to do it in both of these options otherwise your otherwise your image won't be saved as transparent background and select here uh, save just remember where did you save your file I'm going to save it on desktop and it's going to be just here in my vision board this dialog window is open and we are going to select here confirm and we are going to select here export and this is important that you remember you will have to uncheck this button save background color uncheck this leave the other values as they are and just select save and your image is saved and let's see what we have done this is how our file looked in the beginning it had white background and this is how our file looks without this white background as you can see you can put this if your site is blue you won't have this white background as you can see it does look much much better you can do this with any any image that you want I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you have a great day bye